Pinot Black, folks, and basically we got the exact real raw data hitting you right between eyeballs. And if I got my cursor right on top of the 33 kilometers deep, 7.6 Curl Islands. Okay, and then we've had 7.0, 7.0, 6.2. Now it wasn't a hurry to put this up because I, what I did is I immediately checked to see if there's any tsunami warning and then then it's just like well they know they got a quake over there there's not much you can do about it and they've been getting quakes like crazy and as you can see Russia has 7.4 but it's showing up at zero so it's basically a surface uh, very shallow something going on there. Uh, more than likely some kind of a reactive shiver. Now what happened there is basically this page always refreshes. So there's our freshest that we've got going on. Uh, you do have to realize that, yeah, Oregon had off the coast, they had, I don't have that data in front of me right now, but I, I'll bring up the globe and it'll show it on there. But uh, as we scoot back down to the seven, the 6.6, 601 kilometers deep. This is all kilometers here, how deep the quake is. Okay, so they had a 6.6 .6 that deep, and all this stuff followed after this 7.6 quake here. Okay, so uh, more actual factual, and then I could go back and waste time looking at data, clicking back and going, and you can too. You can go ahead and take your time, and then as we got down here, and as I basically flopped around, uh, takes a lot of video time going back and showing, but we've had a lot of six point whatever some high six pointers and stuff and it's all from the latest of uh, 2012 DA 14 going away now this is basically what's going to be coming around and more than likely uh, since what happened and I'll take you to the data in the story that what they were what they're talking about and it's fresh and in the news uh, I was going to show you some stuff that I always still to, to this day two-minute news go over and check his stuff out okay this is the comment we've got coming around and I'll go down to the, the close approach data real fast and there's your nominal here's your maximum uh, the minimum is down to zero so basically something more than likely that travel especially since what we had that came around in uh, now I'm going to take you to show you some uh, also a remnant action that we got a fresh shot and so kind of keeping coming back to these some of these distances and size that you're looking at okay and basically what it is is 65,308 miles okay this is point this is under a mile just about a little bit under three quarters of a mile the point on okay there all those numbers okay so it's 65,308 now that's the nominal distance that is going to be away from Mars so pretty much when they show you the zero over there at Mars and then we'll come up here and that's what you were looking at for distance we go back here and that's what pretty much this thing should hit Mars and it's going to be there's your time it's going to be 04, remember this is Zulu, okay, UTC, on October 19th, okay, 2014. Uh, oh, okay, time uncertainty, 4 hours and 20 minutes, okay, they got 21. Now remember, the one that hit, uh, or basically when we had DA 2000, uh, 2012 DA 14 when we had that come around it came around uh, three and a half hours late okay so but at the same time I would say to go ahead and pump that up four and a half hours at least start watching on October 19th in 2014 okay uh, because no matter what we had the asteroid that hit over in Russia okay meteorite because ast asteroid then it goes through our atmosphere deteriorates down to a meteorite meteor and then blows up into a meteorite and hits the ground you like that that's the actual factor asteroid could have been a comet asteroid doesn't matter argument whether it's an asteroid or a comet then it deteriorates coming through our atmosphere burning up and turning into a meteor and then a meteorite when it blows up in our atmosphere and hit russia's uh ground now basically here's some more of the earthquake action here so the graphs that you see the ink going on uh, I'm pretty much down at the bottom and I'll scroll back down to the bottom route real fast and this should be good enough for you so you can see all it maybe I wasn't at the bottom it doesn't really matter at this time 
don't have a lot of, you don't get real pretty, pretty music and uh, basically just get raw factual data of what's really going on. So we're busy, we got a lot of ink. Uh, I'll take you over to the glow. It looks like I must have been pretty close to the top. So what I'll do is basically blind everybody by going, whoop, we're right up back to the top. We'll come down a little bit and there what we might have missed on the top. So a lot of graph action, a lot of ink. And here's Venus and illuminated very, very big. And then basically this is the actual factual Venus. Anything that illuminates has got to have rare earth magnet, rare earth magna, rare earth magnet. That's correct. Magma, magna, magnetic, rare earth magnets. Okay, so it's pretty much, uh, we all know that basically anything that's illuminated out in space that we get this illumination because you know how huge the sun is and then how Venus does this and we've seen all the planets do this and it's no camera flare, okay? Because you, if you go back to my last two videos, you'll show I showed you Venus with a fresh shot where it was looking its normal size. And then what I can do is we'll go here to this shot and we've got a remnant, okay? Over at the two and then we got more than likely Mars. Now we're gonna see the remnant a little bit more. We've seen that a lot in the past. This is more than likely Mars and a lot of the stars that we always end up seeing. Remember how I busted uh, NASA's butt and basically showed that they were looking, they thought they were looking at some shiny material or piece of plastic on the ground up at Mars on their rover. Well, actually what it was is stars, okay? And then we'll zoom in on that more real fast here. We'll put it in a custom at 9.99. And we'll get right in on there, and then I'll eventually pop out. So that's basically more than likely odds. That's pretty much should be Mars. And what we'll do is I've got two JPL maps up, and then what we'll do is we'll even blow in, so we get a great view of Mars right now. Uh, NASA is really going <laughs> to, but the thing is, keep your telescope. Telescopes are awesome. Let's pull the magnifier. And remember, when I pull the magnifier out, we can't really uh, point anymore. So we're going to be looking at the stars and everything that's around by Mars, okay? And then I'll center it a little bit, and then we'll just keep pumping up here, and we'll get a real good view of Mars and stars more than more than likely. Either that or we've possibly got a view of, again, the umbilical cord of the static uh, magnetical connection that's out in space of the stars. And remember, Sagittarius A is dead center of the Milky Way galaxy. Pretty much the closest dead center star Milky Way galaxy is Sagittarius A. Okay, so it could be I could be wrong. We could be looking at a star right there. Okay, and what I want to do is basically just look around. I had it pumped up so much. I was there. There's the stars. They're clustered out there around. More than likely, that should be Mars. So. A little bit more. I'm going to look at JPL here real fast. I'll pump down to like 200 and you'll see what we've got going on. And that's what we're looking in on. Get rid of the magnifier glass. And uh, you don't, as you see, we don't get Venus in the shot here because we're too zoomed in. Okay. When we're zoomed in that tight, boom, we don't get Venus. You see? Because we're, we're zoomed in that tight. So that more than likely is Mars. Let's take a look at JPL. Let's get the impact of this. And basically I'll hit the fast forward and there you're gonna see it's gonna hit Mars right there. Okay, and then I'll, I can bring it back and we'll kind of try to freeze it. And it's basically supposed to be the 19th. So we'll come back. Oh, I gotta do it with the boom. We'll hit boom and I'll do and boom. Where am I at? Okay, now we'll just kind of boom, boom, boom. So on October 19th, it's gonna be very, and remember that four and a half hour distance of being early or late. So you got like an eight, nine hour window you want to round it off to that you want to be looking to see this thing impact Mars. Let me show you the actual factual on that. Okay, 2013 A1 is going to be barreling along at 35 miles per second, okay? Or 126,000 miles per hour. It's going to hit and it's basically should round out. You can go ahead and do the figuring. I'm not worried about that right now because we'll probably have plenty of time to talk about this until October of next year. This is basically a big time astronomers thing because, and then physicists, okay? Because of, yes, nuclear bombs and so forth and everything like that, and then uh, retrograde and everything like that that we got going on with this object because it's a hyper one. And we'll keep you posted pretty much, okay? And I had you at JPL at that, looking at that there. And remember, Shoemaker was 15, 
kilometers in diameter. And then basically, I think I've got a shot of that as we keep scrolling up through here. We here here is the fragments that basically Levy caught, uh, that basically NASA caught of Shoemaker Levy Nine on approach to this. Is basically was a you know originally would be considered a comet. Then it turns into a meteorite. And then meteorites. Okay, and it was a meteor right after a comet. Okay, because that's our degradation. Okay, when, it, when, it, when something degrades out in space, you might as well just say it at that. More than likely, uh, some at some point in time, it had to have been something ma massive, or I mean, of one decent size. When things form from dust in space, because that's what we pretty much uh, in uh, the theory of how everything gets that everything is a gaseous form first, and dust particles, and then. We pretty much know from watching and studying the the nuclear fusion of the sun that uh, cuz in astronomy and nuclear physicists and so forth we figure gas particle gas in space and then we use I've been showing you tons of electrical that you can see cuz they do the colorization so that you can see on the red remember the blue hides a lot of electrical activity the red shots the, from Sechi and Soho it's important to go back and look and basically this is what we're talking about and uh, we figure pretty much in the comment and then basically thanks Nancy Atkinson that and it doesn't really matter she's working she's getting a paycheck we're sharing actual factual space data with you here okay and uh, basically this bugger is gonna hit uh, because basically we will come down here to the actual factual and we're looking at more than likely what happened off nine and then what we know what, what hit Russia that and then they tried to give you this bunk story that they had nothing related to DA 2012 DA 14 you know 2012 DA 14 it wasn't nothing associated with it at all well it hit exactly the same damn flipping time uh, the close enough so the idea that you see how the massive distance that this fragments here was spread out and so forth and so on so the idea that no matter what, we have a 50-kilometer size, I believe, object that's going to hit uh, 56 kilometers, okay? Or no, 56 kilometers, yeah, 56 diameter up to 50 kilometers. The energy of the impact might be the equivalent of staggering 2.10 megatons. That is astounding. So we're going to see uh, a very good uh, kinetic energy hit, something that more than likely might have taken out. Everybody keeps on congesting that that's what took out the dinosaurs. I think basically, like when we study what hits satellites and knocks their electrical systems out, and yeah, more than likely, and the energy, the massive energy in the last few videos, and let's go over there real fast. i got to show you my videos I've been putting out. Now, there, it, there's a good sign that people do watch my videos, and basically, someone recently was basically, and you can see uh, the date and time and everything up here if you watch all the information, that, that star belt out here that basically they end up zooming in and getting a good view of that. So a lot of people are interested. Let me blow up in on that. And then we'll pump up a little bit more. Even we'll go 999 on this real fast. And then I just remembered something that I would need to show you from over at uh, Sechi, one of the blues, the A's. I can show you something that uh, was astounding. So here's you can see that that's a star belt. Okay, don't worry about that. That's part of the umbilical cord of the Milky Way galaxy there that the sun is tied to. I refreshed our date and time, and earlier in the video, as you can see, that was Mars because there's Sun, and Mars is barely ap appearable back there on that shot. And I can pop over to it real fast, and there it is. That was more than likely Mars right there that we we're taking beyond to take a look at. So there you go, because I refreshed February 28th, and there you go. So actual factual, and then yep, this is where it's going to end up coming by, but it's going to be a good distance from Earth after it more than likely smacks, and then basically Mars might help us out. And there's your dates and times. And remember, mine's always in the right-hand corner and everything. This is the freshest I could get. I might be able to get the 26, but it doesn't really matter. But check out what came through and basically caused, and you'll I'll put play and hit it and make it play real fast because just to get it in in the time frame of the recording that we've got. But let's zoom in on that again real fast, 888. And this basically popped into the into the screen, okay? So we get that. We'll get 999. We'll even go 999, and then we'll be able to point. And this is what was came through and made this huge CME action and let's check that out real fast so I'll click forward I'll hit play and we'll go faster 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 but as you can see that was there and it came through and I'll hit faster 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 and it just comes in and it just makes it do a hell of a big old CME 
so I got you nuts by clicking and making you pay attention. Slap you with the ruler, and then you make you realize, just like old school, wake up.